Hello friends, this is Akash Kaushik from Learn Prom with Akash Kaushik, and this is my second video on the topic of um, pointers. So pointer-based output question discussion video. So let's start the topic. Uh, this is my question number one. So in this question, they have taken an array, namely integer type array of namely array with values four, six, ten, and twelve. So basically, I have created an array of zero, one, two, three next number with values four, six, ten, and twelve respectively. Then a pointer pointing to array. That means pointer will be pointing the first element of the array, uh, that is four or index number zero. Okay. Next statement. They have started a for loop that is starting from one and up to three. Basically, loop will run for value i value one, two, and three, and i plus plus. So when value of i equal to one, then we have to print the star pointer that is four. Then Hash next statement pointer plus plus so pointer will move to next position that is six again I will run for two so again the value of pointer will be printed and then hash will be printed next statement again pointer plus plus and now I will run for value three so again value pointer will be printed that is 10 and hash will be printed and pointer plus plus so pointer will be now at location last value of array or location number three index number three so the loop for the execution of this loop will now over next end is end else so basically we will place our cursor on the next line again next loop is starting from i equal to 1 less than equal to 4 i plus plus and what this loop is doing this is doing i uh, star pointer is equal to star point into 3 basically they are multiplying the value by 3 so when i equal to 1 uh, we have to multiply the value pointer by 3 so basically 12 will become 12 into 3 that will be 36 and then pointer minus minus so pointer will come at this position loop will start action for i equal to 2 again pointer will we have to multiply the pointer by 3 so it will be 30 again pointer minus minus so pointer will come at this position now for i equal to 3 i equal to 1 i equal to 2 i equal to 3 again we have to multiply it by 3 so 18 pointer minus minus last i equal to 4 again 4 will be multiplied by 3 so it will become 12 and pointer minus minus so basically our pointer will be now out of the phase or out of our receiving because it will move to the previous element and that is not in the array okay so this loop is also over then again next loop in the next loop there it is running from 1 2 less than 5 basically for the value 1 2 3 and 4 so when i equal to 1 we have to print array i minus 1 so value of i equal 1 that means array i minus 1 will be 0 so we have to print array 0 that is 12 at the rate then i equal to 2 that means we value of uh, array 2 minus 1 array 1 will be printed that is 18 at the rate i is 3 now so value of second element will be printed array 3 minus 1 that will be array 2 so 30 at the rate now it will run for 4 that means value of array 4 minus 1 so array 3 will be printed it will be 36 at the rate and l cursor will move to next line and now loop is over so our final output will be this 4 has 6 has 10 hash 12 at the rate 18 at the rate 30 at the rate 36 at the rate so the main thing that you have to notice in this type of question that just run it we basically we have to execute the code in the way compile executes just a line by line manner and every execution of the loop and just modify the value where it is required and just print the value where it is required so uh, let's move on to our next question okay let let's start discussion of second question so they have again taken an array namely array 
with values 2 3 4 and 5 and index number 0 1 2 3 respectively and a pointer namely arptr pointing to array that will be, it will be placed at 0th index or very first element of the array next statement int value is equal to star arptr that means the value at arptr will be located in value variable so the value of value variable will be 2 next statement c out value so basically we will display the value of value variable that is 2 slash n we will come at next line now again value equal to star arptr plus plus so star arptr plus plus i have discussed in my previous video on discussion on array pointer oh sorry pointer concepts in which the arptr plus plus will be changed something like this star of arptr plus plus that means first the value of arptr will be used and then value of arptr will be incremented by one so to understand this concept please watch my video on pointer concepts so that you will be able to uh, understand this concept completely so in this statement basically first of all the value of uh, the value variable will be in initialized with the value of arptr that is 2 so it will inside with value 2 and then value of arptr will be incremented by 1 so it will become 3 next is c out value so again 2 will be printed and cursor will move at the next line next statement value equal to star arptr so basically the value variable will be initialized with the value of arptr so it will become 3 the latest value of arptr 3 again c out value slash n uh, so we will print the value 3 and cursor remove to next line next in value equal to star plus plus arptr so star plus plus ar ptr this will be replaced something like this plus plus ar ptr so basically first of all the pointer ar ptr will move to the next location that will it will come at the next location and then value at the next location will be used to initialize the variable that means value will be inside with the value of array 1 or basically the 3 and then this value will be printed so output will be 2 2 3 3 to understand the concept of this thing and this thing please do watch my video on pointer concept the video one on the topic pointer basically i have covered all the concepts uh, that will be used in your exam to solve the output question based on pointer in that video so just to understand how to find out the outputs just do watch my that video okay next move on to the next question okay next one the next question so here they are taking a variable namely points and its value is 300 and then a pointer start that is pointing to points and a pointer end then they are taking um, just wait okay let's start the discussion of third question so basically they have taken a variable namely points with value 300 then a pointer start pointing to the block of points uh, a pointer and then they have taken a statement and equal to new that means new state will initialize a block of type integer and return its address to and that basically and will point to the newly allocated block used uh, block allocated through new variable then star and equal to points minus 150 so basically the value of this block will be points minus 50 150 300 minus 150 that will be 150 again points equal to points plus 100 so basically value of point block will become 400 next statement we have to print the value of points that is 400 colon then star start 
again the value of this block that will again be 400 and next line then see out star end value of the block and that will be 150 and l will move to the next location next start is equal to end that means the start pointer will start moving to the this block or the block pointed to end basically when you initialize a pointer with another pointer so the pointer will start pointing to the block which the second pointer is pointing so next statement points so points will be 400 colon star start star star now start is pointing to this block so basically the value of this block will be pointed 150 star and again the value of this block 150 and l pointer will move to the next location next year points minus 100 so points will become now 300 star star minus 50 start is pointing to this block so basically value of this block will be minus 50 that will become 100 next statement points so value of points is 300 colon star start value of start block is 100 and l will move to the next line star and value of end block that is 100 and l will move to the next line delete and so basically this block will be deleted so uh, end of the program execution the output will be this so basically to notice in this question is that when you initialize a pointer with another pointer so pointer will start pointing to the block which the second pointer is pointing that means uh, when you write on the statement start equal to end so start will be shifted to the end block or start will start pointing to the block to which the pointer end is pointing and again the same thing if they are talking about the star start that means they are talking about the block if they are talking about only start that means they are talking about the pointer okay let's move on to the next question okay so last question of this video they have taken an array namely a with value 10 15 20 25 30 at index number 0 1 2 3 4 respectively then a pointer p that is pointing to array so basically p will be at first location of array and value 10 okay next statement they have run the while loop where uh, up to value of p is less than 30 the loop will run until value of p is less than 30 so basically uh, uh, talking about the first case the value of p is 10 so loop will run and what we have to do in the loop if value of p remainder by 3 not equal to 0 means if the value is not a divisible of 3 we have to add the value with 2 else we have to add the value with 1 so basically 10 is not a divisible of 3 so value of p will be incremented by 2 so value will become 12 p plus plus p will move to the next location again the value of p is less than 30 so loop will ex execute star p remainder by 3 not equal to 0 but this time it is 3 remainder by 15 remainder by 3 will be 0 so we have to increment it by 1 so value is 6 pointer will be moved to the next location again uh, it is less than 30 so we will check the condition it is not a rem uh, 20 remainder by 3 will not be equal to 0 so basically it will be increment by 2 pointer will move to the next location 25 again not divisible by 3 so basically it will be again increment by 2 uh, sorry 27 next location but now the value of star p is not less than 30 it is equal to 30 so loop will be the execution loop will be finished here next loop after the execution of this loop next loop will start execution int j equal to 0 j less than equal to 4 j plus plus and we have to print the value of aj and star so basically initially the value of aj a0 will be printed that is 12 star 
zero remainder by three equals to zero. Yes. Then in case we have to uh, execute one end statement, so pointer will move to the next location. So basically, the cursor will move to the next location. Now value of j will be one. So a one will be printed. That is sixteen star one remainder by three not equal to zero. So again, next statement. Uh, j equal to 2 a2 will be printed that is 22 star condition will check 2 remainder by 3 is not equal to 0 again j equal to 3 so 27 star will be printed and this time 3 remainder by 3 equal to 0 and the string will be run so cursor will move, uh, move to the next location now j equal to 4 so 30 and star will be printed and loop will start uh, finish its execution last statement we have to print a4 into 3 a4 is 30 into 3 will be 90 and then cursor will at the last, last position and now the execution of this program will be finished so basically output will be this one so what we have to take care you have to just take care of the and l slash and slash t etc things while writing the output basically uh, the output is important as well as formatting is also important you have to write the output in the same way in which the compiler will give the output of this program with this next line slash n and l etc okay so thank you so much guys for watching my video please do like comment and subscribe if you like my video thank you so much